Hello, I am Dr. Rajpal Singh. I am the Director of Cardiology and a Senior Interventional Cardiologist who practices at Fortis Hospitals, Banargata Road. Today, we want to share some basic information about one of the most important tests that we do in cardiology that is known as a coronary angiogram, which you will all have heard many a times being used. So what is this test? This test is the gold standard test that we do to evaluate whether a person has got any significant narrowing in the arteries supplying the heart. As you know, coronary arteries are the arteries which supply the blood supply to the heart and any narrowing in these arteries can result in patients having either a, a what we call as unstable angina or getting chest pains on exertion and in some patients a bit of shortness of breath on exertion. So to define what exactly is the problem, we offer the test known as coronary angiography. So what is coronary angiography? It is a very basic, simple test that is done on a daily basis by me and my colleagues across the world. This is the gold standard test for evaluating the coronary arteries. How do we do it? In a vast majority of the patients, we put a little tube into the top of the wrist through an artery known as the radial artery. This is by far the most common way of doing uh, coronary angiography in this current age and uh, time. By doing so, we are able to minimize the risk to the patient. We can ensure that they can be mobilized early as well as we can ensure that these cases are done on a daycare basis, i.e. the patient comes in the morning, has the angiogram and is able to go home in the afternoon. So what do we do? We give you a little local anesthetic after having done some basic tests and the patient is fully conscious in most cases when we do coronary angiography. In some patients who are very anxious, we might give a mild sedative to calm their nerves down. Once we do the cleaning and preparing the patient, we give a local anesthetic at the top of the wrist and then we place a tiny tube through which we pass a wire all the way up to the heart. There are two major arteries in the heart, supplying the heart, one supplying on the left side of the heart and one supplying on the right side of the heart. We've got dedicated catheters which sit in quite conveniently into the mouth of these arteries and once they are there, we in inject some contrast or dye and take pictures from about four to six different angles. By doing so, we'll be able to tell you exactly what is the state of play of the arteries. Are they normal or abnormal? And if they're abnormal, what is the abnormality? Are these arteries heavily calcified? Have these arteries got significant narrowings in them? If there is narrowings, where is the narrowings? And what is the extent of these narrowings? This information tells us how we can treat the patient. Can we just treat them with medications? Or in addition to good medications and lifestyle changes, do we need to put stent across these arteries and open these arteries up? Or in some cases, if the narrowings are quite extensive, then we might even recommend that in addition to medications that the patient goes through for a bypass surgery. This test usually takes about five minutes for us to do. It's a day case procedure. The patient comes in the morning after having had a light uh, breakfast or something to drink. We do the procedure within about an hour's time, the patient is ready to go home. So this is what coronary angiography is. It is not without risks, but it is a very low risk procedure. What are the risks? Maybe a, a, in a person who's not too elderly, the risk of any serious complications is about one in a thousand. In someone who is elderly, the risk might be about one in 600. 999 out of 1000 or 599 out of 600 patients go home without any major issues. And even if there are issues, these are something that can be addressed in vast majority of patients quite comfortably. I hope this information has been quite useful to you and puts your mind at rest when you think about having an angiogram or have the need for any of your family members to have a coronary angiogram. Take care.